After a quick trip up to Georgia to meet our new nephew, we are flying back to Florida, and thanks to some low-level clouds, we are flying back IFR. Hi, this is uh, November 2441 Mike, and we are holding short and ready for departure at uh, Charlie November, India. Runway 5. Can you try this, guys? 61942 is on file, on file, RNF runway 5, Cherokee. They're not going to clear me after her with him coming in. <laughs> See if you can find him, because he's coming in through the clouds. 400 foot ceilings. Cherokee okay, sounds right good. I'll call you back shortly. Two Thanks. On a four mile final, RNF runway 5, Cherokee. All right, he needs me to clear. Did you hear that, or do I just hear that, the phone? You just hear that. Okay. Well, once this Skyhawk comes in and lands... They say call him back. Yep. There he is. You see him? Yeah, he's really low. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, this is uh, November 2441, Mike. We're holding short for departure runway 5 at Charlie November, India. We were holding for uh, Skyhawk inbound for landing. They just did a touch and go and are back off. Okay. We are ready. We are uh, released for departure, heading 140. I'm going to make a right turn to 140. Out to 3000, we'll get on 126.97 on departure frequency. 41 Mike. Thank you much. Bye. County Aztec 2441 Mike is on the departure in runway 5 for departure Cherokee County. I love you guys. Love you. Yeah. Clouds expected at 400 feet. Looks like clouds are at 200 feet. Atlanta Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike, just off Charlie November, India, 2500, climbing 3000, heading 140. 41 Mike, Atlanta Departure, I didn't climb and maintain 7000. Climb and maintain 7000, I didn't, 41 Mike. Number four, Mike, you're ready to contact five southeast of Cherokee County, one altimeter 3014, stay altitude. 3014, altitude 3000, climbing seven. Thank you. How oh, pretty. That got better fast. I know, that's uh, wonderful. I thought we'd be stuck in the clouds for a long time. It's beautiful. It's great. It's like a whole flat surface. It looks very different from the bottom. Uh-huh. Yeah, a lot better than it was forecast. This is supposed to be moderate to heavy storms all over the top of Atlanta. Now, Atlanta should be there, but I don't see anything that looks like it's higher than about 6,000 feet. Aztec 401 Mike, turn 10 degrees right. 10 degrees right, 401 Mike. Look at the one bump that is out I there that looks bigger, and put me right at it. I wonder why <laughs> they direct us towards Atlanta instead of just going around. Because they, there's corridors where they approach. It's a west, an east-west airport. See all the planes going left-right? They want all the traffic that's just going over the top to basically go over the top of Atlanta or well out of their approach corridors. I guess since they're, they're big airports, they have to come out way out here to do their turns yeah. to get in. So. Yeah, they're doing 200, 250 knots, and they're stacked one after another, so they're busy. I'm just thrilled that that was relatively uneventful. Yeah, looking at it from the ground, it looked bad. Yeah, <laughs> it's at two, 400 feet. We took off, it was 200 feet. That was uh, that was real IFR right there. Yeah, for sure. But now we're good. It's all right. Good practice. Nope, you did it. I don't mind being in the clouds, but I prefer to look at them. Yeah, I prefer not to be in them. You can't see what's about to get you. The turbulence is invisible. I don't think they're going to take us over the middle today. I think they're going to let me have my path. They'll clear me because I filed the one one thousand, and there's oh wait no, their airspace goes to twelve five. Wow, Atlanta, that's pretty solid. Well, it does matter as long as you're doing what they said to do. You can go yeah. wherever you need to. See how he's putting me right outside the ring? He yeah. doesn't want me in the ring. He's sitting me right outside the ring, yeah. The ring of fire. All right, so those are real clouds. So there's that moderate to heavy. And it's going to make a layer all the way to Athens and then all the way down to Augusta. 
Yeah, that, that stuff that's coming up. Now oh, that yeah. looks like it's about 20,000 feet. And that's going to climb, and it's climbing rapidly. So that's what I was seeing on the map. So yeah, so today we did something I've never done before. I'm up to uh, something like 450 or 460 flight hours. I've been IFR certified since 100 and a low hundred number of hours. Maybe 200, I don't remember. You pretty much went straight from VFR I did, to yeah. IFR or private pilot, whatever you want to call it. Yep. So I don't remember my exact number of hours on IFR, but I've been IFR certified for 10 plus years. It's a good thing. And one mic, climb and maintain one one thousand. Climb and maintain one one thousand. Forward mic. So the thing I experienced for the first time today was getting an IFR clearance on the phone from an uncontrolled airport. Every time I have flown IFR, I'm always at a controlled airport, either in or out, and uh, so I've always been able to get my IFR clearance from ground, and then take off and have communications right off the bat. So today we uh, we called. Uh, the IFR clearance line of WX Brief, uh, they have uh, they have a number that's dedicated just for IFR clearances, and uh, it was super easy. It was not at all difficult, and I was expecting it to be difficult. So if you find yourself being an IFR certified pilot and you want to pick up your IFR clearance from an uncontrolled airport, and you know they'll teach you this in your IFR training, but most of us go through the training. A decade goes by, you kind of start to forget some of the things. That's okay, you know. That's why you continue to study and continue to learn and try to stay current. Um, that's where we have flight reviews and whatnot, but I've never actually had to do it before. So Cherokee County, uncontrolled, called the number, had my flight plan filed in advance. They picked it up immediately and uh, gave me my clearance. And then they, what actually happened was uh, they didn't give me a, uh, a release on that phone conversation. Just because I you know, hadn't done this before, I was expecting them to say, to give me a, you know, a release time and a void time, uh, but instead they, you know, more or less said, yeah, just call from the plane. So I had to figure out how to connect my cell phone to my headset, which I'd never taken the time to do before. We got that figured out, called from the plane. They held me for release right there, holding short of runway five because there was an incoming Skyhawk. Unfortunately, the conversation that we had isn't going to be picked up because it's Kelly's headset that, that, the, radio uh, that the radio goes recorded. through, but it was a very you know, cordial, simple conversation, just like talking with any, uh, any controller at an airport. Uh, but as soon as they felt comfortable about the traffic in my space for departure, they went ahead and gave me another clearance on the phone uh, where it was more of an abbreviated clearance because they had given the clearance before, but they essentially said, you're released for departure, void after five minutes, uh, climb and maintain 3000 heading 140. And so I uh, read back, you know, the just the small parts of the clearance that uh, were uh, reiterated by the controller. They said, off, you know, off you go, contact from the air. So we did. And uh, yeah, the whole thing was very simple. I, I thought there was going to be more drama. So if anybody else is thinking about, or you know, avoiding uncontrolled airports when they're expecting IFR, I won't be doing that anymore. I, uh, from now on, if there's an uncontrolled airport that has cheap gas, that otherwise is more convenient for me to go to, and I know it's going to be IFR, at least in, in the past, up till now, I've always just deferred some of the smaller airports because I didn't want to have to deal with any issues with getting clearance on the ground. But it's very easy. So long we'll be doing... cell phone signal. Long, oh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> you definitely want to make sure you have cell phone signal. I guess you can call from the FBO from a wired phone. But yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, it wasn't bad, so any IFR pilots out there that haven't done uncontrolled fields and clearance delivery just because you don't feel like doing it, it's probably not most of you. I'm probably the big chicken. But, uh, but what anyway. are you talking about? You fly to the Bahamas. <laughs> so. I, I tend to avoid things that seem like they're hassle, and slowly but surely I'm adding hassles in, and every you one of them it. is That's turning so out bad. not to be a hassle. It's never as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's always been easy. I guess that's how it should be. But uh, yeah, again, you know, just like being, being afraid of the Bahamas for a long time, it wasn't worth it. The Bahamas is easy and everybody should go. Uncontrolled airports, IFR, also easy, not bad. You know, go out, practice with an instructor, get yourself comfortable, do what you got to do, but it's not something to be afraid of. It was no big deal. November 2441, Mike, clear direct Dublin. 
Clear direct Dublin, 4-1 Mike. Attention all aircraft, hazardous weather information, air map for Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Kentucky, Tennessee, West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and coastal water, water is available on flight service frequencies. <laughs> Good. That's a very large area. <laughs> Flying in the southeast, uh, <laughs> just, you know. Just start from the beginning, Alabama, let's get <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Attention pilots, if you're flying in the continental United States, you <laughs> should check the weather before you go. <laughs> That's a lot of weather on yeah. that map. That's why they named all the states. And from this storm up to this stuff on the weather map on uh, online by 10, uh, 10 to 12, that was supposed to be all socked in yellow and red. Now that hasn't quite panned out, uh, but this stuff is moving in, and then Florida is supposed to look like this. By the uh, by, about one to two o'clock, especially from right along through here, it just completely walls in with like red and orange. Contact Jacksonville Center one two seven point five seven. One two seven point five seven four one Mike. Jack Center Aztec two four four one Mike one one thousand. Oh, I got another Aztec four four one Mike Jacksonville Center Roger Aloha. Good morning to you four one Mike. Did he just say Aloha? He did. <laughs> He's talking to you, Myra. <laughs> We're officially the first person to ever fly to see Lucas. Oh, I was like, where are you going with us? Yes. Everyone else lives in town besides Brittany. Yeah. She has a short drive. Lucas, when you're looking back in time and watching this YouTube video of our trip down to see Lucas. First. Best uncle. Degrees <laughs> number four, Mike, you want to go to 12,000 or down to 10,000? I need to get you right for flight. We'll go 1 2,000, 4 1, Mike. Air 4 1, Mike, uh, climb maintain 1 2,000. Climb maintain 1 2,000, 4 1, Mike. Got to say, Jack Approach 127.0. 127.0, Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. Jack Approach, Aztec 2441, Mike at 1 2,000. Jack 2441 Mike, Jack Approach, Roger, Jack Center 3013. 3013, 41 Mike. Jack Center Aztec 2441 Mike with request. Number 2441 Mike, go ahead. If possible, can we uh, change our routing over the top of uh, Orlando uh, and then to Okeechobee to Stewart to avoid weather? Yeah, that's 2441 Mike, that's fine. Put direct to uh, Orlando, direct to Okeechobee, direct Stewart. Clear direct Orlando, direct Okeechobee to Stewart, 41 Mike, thanks. All right, so we had some, uh, some weather buildups that are getting worse here over Daytona Beach. You can see that, you know, right out the windshield. These are some pretty good buildups and uh, moderate to heavy precipitation is now reported right along our route. Never so three, one, two, we uh, one, requested one, some deviation. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. So we're gonna go first right over the top of Orlando and then continue south to Okeechobee and then try to uh, get back into Stewart. Uh, right now we've got you know clear weather ahead of us. Potentially this stuff, which we're seeing right there, is going to continue to build out and move west. It generally does. So we may or may not uh, be able to continue with this path. We might continue to have to move around. But right now we're just going to stay uh, over the land, and that should get us back in. Do you see the cloud that looks like a, um, a light? It's like a like button. A thumbs it's up, on the you right. It's on, yeah. It's on the right? Yeah. I don't see it. Maybe it's at a different shape than at our angle than yours. Like and subscribe. <laughs> November 2441, Mike. Contact Orlando yeah. Approach 124.8. Have a nice day. Orlando 124.8. Have a good day yourself. Four one Mike. Orlando Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike at 12000 2 thousand, heading 205. Number 2441 Mike, Orlando Approach, Orlando, turn 3013. Number 41 Mike, turn left, heading 140. Left 140, 41 Mike. Orlando Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike. Uh, this, this routing, this 140 heading that you got me is putting us right back into the weather here in about 10 minutes or so. 41 Mike. Hey, 41 Mike, I was going to cut you to the east coast and then uh, southbound. Um, like a one, flight in 130, that should keep you clear. Deviation approved, 10 left and right. And at 130, deviations, uh, 10 left and right approved, for one Mike. All right, so what he wants me to do is not go over Orlando, but go over here. 
Well, it's going to get us over here. And then we'll continue down. And down there, it's fine. Number four, Mike, this should, there's a pretty big gap you're headed for. Once you get east of the weather, I'll go direct Stewart. All right, we're going to go uh, through the gap and then direct Stewart. Expect it thereafter, four, one, Mike. What airport are we flying past right down here? Yeah. Frank is right there on it. Space Coast. Space Coast. Aztec 4 1 Mike, one able direct Stewart. You can deviate as necessary. When able direct Stewart, deviate as necessary for 1 Mike. 4 1 Mike, contact Miami Center on 126.95. Good day. 126.95. Good day, 4 1 Mike. Miami Center, Aztec 2441 Mike at 12000. Aztec 2441 Mike, Miami Center. We're going to be called Simeter 3012. I do show moderate precipitation. 1 o'clock, 20 miles, about 5 miles in diameter. 3012, and appreciate weather advisory. 401 Mike. November uh, 401 Mike. Turn uh, right heading 180 vectors to avoid parachute jumping operation. Right heading 180 uh, for parachute activity. 401 Mike. 401 Mike. Descend and maintain 10,000. Descend and maintain 10,000. 401 Mike. Miami Center, Aztec 2441 Mike, are we uh, okay to resume direct steward again at this time? In November 41 Mike, approved sequester. Approved as requested, forward Mike. November 2441 Mike, contact Palm Beach approach, 123.62. 123.62, good day, forward Mike. Palm Beach approach, Aztec 2441 Mike, at 8000, descending for 6000. Aztec 2441 Mike, Palm Beach approach, descend to maintain 4000, expect a visual approach, runway 12. Descend to maintain 4000, expecting uh, visual 12, and we have information, Victor, for one Mike. How's it think? There's those little islands. Yep. Almost home. Almost home. 41 Mike, turn right hit in 190, vector for the sequence. Right, heading 190, and vector for sequence 41 Mike. Palm Beach approach, Aztec 2441 Mike. We've got uh, visual conditions and uh, can cancel IFR, continue visual. Aztec 41 Mike, Route 0, uh, IFR cancellation is received. VFR out to your discretion. VFR altitude, my discretion. Palm Beach, Aztec 2441 Mike at uh, 7 mile final for runway 12 at Stewart Airport Inside. Uh, 41 Mike, ready to terminate. Keep your walk code, connect Stewart Tower 126.6. Contact uh, Stewart Tower, 41 Mike, thank you. Stewart Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike on a seven mile final at 2000 with information, Victor. Aztec 2441 Mike, Stewart Tower, runway 12, clear to land, where are you parking? 12, clear to land, and we're parking at Atlantic. Right. All right, three mile final, final check. We've got fuel pumps on, we've got gear down three indicating one in the mirror, pictures, props, and lights are on, we are all configured. Good to it. Woo. Good job. Aztec 41 Mike, turn right Alpha 3, then taxi to park this frequency. Right Alpha 3, and taxi to park this frequency. Appreciate your help. Warmed up, didn't it? Well, we're back in paradise. Well, it was a quick trip, but I'm glad we got to go. Yep, it was good to see uh, Lucas. Lucas, the new nephew, he's a week old today. All right, Lucas, when are we taking you for a flight? Uh. <laughs> we got to get your mom to and dad to come around. That. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll do it, Lucas. Don't worry. All right, guys. So that's that. That's it for today's flight. We got an annual coming up next. We hope you enjoyed riding along and uh, let us know what you want to see. Thanks. Bye. Bye.